I really feel like every day I learn something and I th I guess it's because of the misunderstood terms and all that. And I feel like I'm advancing like very fast every day. Not that I have to wait 10 years, you know, or that it's slow or something. I, f I feel the opposite. I feel that it's very fast. Is, yeah. Did you ever feel in your path that you got like stuck and, and you had to wait like five years or something like that or? Well, yeah, and I, I have a problem because I was surrounded by God brothers who were actively trying to hold me back, deliberately trying to stop my advancement. Huh? They were trying to keep me at their level because they couldn't stand, they were so envious. They couldn't stand to see anybody advance to Raganuga Bhakti. And even at one time I had a group on Yahoo, a Raganuga Bhakti discussion group. And there were at one time, at one time there was like 650 devotees. And most of them were my God brothers. And this group, I preached to them for two and a half years about Raganuga Bhakti. And it, by the end, they were still asking the same questions that they were asking in the beginning. They didn't get anywhere. They didn't move. They didn't advance. Uh, so at that point, it became clear to me that I have to give this association up. I can't anymore be associated with these people. And so I closed the group and I went off on my own. That was really when I like closed the door to associating with my god brothers uh, because and, and and when I was in ISKCON they gave me such a hard time uh, there was and, and not a day that went by when somebody didn't offend me you know and so yeah there there are uh, situations in which you can be held back you can be held back mainly by bad association so here you're in good association. Uh, you have, you know, direct instruction. You can ask questions anytime. And oh, Uddhava, you have to understand, when he first became a devotee, he used to email me five or six times a day with questions. <laughs> I mean, really, just answering your questions was a full-time job. <laughs> Well, I was first, so I had to take yeah, advantage. Yeah, you, you got the chance. But he, the thing is, you took the chance. There are many other devotees who have the ability to post questions. And, you know, we have no problem about responding. But they don't post anything. And I'm, it makes me wonder, you know, what are they thinking? Uh, when I read Srimad Bhagavatam, I had a question like every sentence. And then I'd have to go off and research it and figure it out and then come back. You know, so I can't understand how anybody could be reading Srila Prabhupada's books and not have a million questions. It must mean that they're reading them in a very superficial way. And this is, this is alarming to me. This means there's a problem. It means that people aren't getting it. And also I see by their behavior that they're not getting it. You know. No, no one has been able to establish any kind of a real community except us monks. It means that they don't really have a service attitude. It means that they don't really have a uh, uh, attitude of hospitality and service toward the other Vaishnavas. Or somebody would say, hey, come on, you know, let's do this. And somehow or other, they would do it. So this is one of those somehow or other things. There's no like step-by-step, -step, do it yourself by the book procedure. It's something that you just have to like muddle through because every situation is different. So, but we don't see that. We don't see the spirit, the can-do spirit of, yeah, somehow or other, I'm going to do this. Babaji wants it, Prabhupada wants it, Krishna wants it. Somehow or other, I'm going to do it. Huh? We don't see that spirit yet. We don't see that. So I'm wondering, you know, how, how are we going to get from here to there? Well, you know, you know, it's like, it's basically is up to you. 
It's up to you. If nobody else is doing it, you get up and do it. Taking responsibility is a big part of this path. And I think that is one reason why we're not seeing the advancement. I think it's one reason why people are getting stuck. For a long time, I was unwilling to take the responsibility to teach. And especially to teach in the mode of a guru, you know, and give initiation and like that. Um, I was unwilling until I reached the point where I had to do it. I just had to, I had to do it for my own personal survival. Maybe that's what it takes, you know. Maybe the situation's going to have to get so crazy that it's going to be a matter of survival that the devotees come together and make communities. You know, uh, I don't like to see that. I don't like to see the devotees put into anxiety like that. It would be better if you would take the initiative and organize now before things get really bad. But, oh well, you know, that's, we're doing it. You could also do what we're doing, but nobody is. And so, yeah, I, I think it's possible to get held back by that, that kind of attitude problem or that kind of misunderstanding, uh, unwillingness to take responsibility, unwillingness to be accountable. You know, to be to stand up and be the man and get it done. Uh, you know, there's a lack of that kind of. There's a more of a feeling of you know, let Babaji take care of us. Well, guess what? Babaji can't take care of all of you. I'm just a human being. I have limits. I'm not Superman. You know, I can give you instruction, but if you don't follow my instruction, what can I do? You know, I can't come there and lead you by the hand. You're going to have to figure this out yourself. Okay, what's the other question? It is actually very easy. Yeah, it's, it's hard from the perspective of someone starting that, oh, I just have to follow the instruction. But uh, usually following the instruction means facing some kind of pain or difficulty to overcome. And because of this, then it's like, it slows down very much. <laughs> like, I remember g going through the university precisely when I arrived to this grammar part, it was like, oh man, it's, it's so much to learn. It will take me so much time. So I basically stopped for a while and, and t took a break, you know? But it's like when you go to the dentist, it's like, well, your tooth is hurting. So you know that if you don't go to the dentist, you have to fix it. So, but you don't go and then you wait until it's really hurting and then, okay, <laughs> go to the dentist, you know? So this kind of approach, we have to learn how to like, just go for it. And it's so much better after. It, the, 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 um, the anticipation yeah. is worse than the actual thing. Exactly. Yes. Like, that's my oh, experience. Oh, it's going to hurt. Oh, it's going to be so hard. Oh, it's going to be so weird. Oh God, I'm going to suffer. Ah. It takes so you much know? time. It's so difficult. This yeah, is whatever. This is, but this is exactly what Krishna was chastising Arjuna about lamenting. Mm -hmm. See, lamenting means going, indulging in your negative fantasies and emotions. And it is a total waste of time, total waste of energy. So just get over it and, and get on with it. And you'll be surprised because especially if Krishna wants it, it's going to go so smoothly. Krishna is going to help from within. You think Krishna is powerless? You think Krishna is just a name or a, a picture or a doll on the altar? You don't know about Krishna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's because of this idea that it's hard. But it's actually so easy once you do it. And I think this is very clear when we're doing it like the the gardening, growing vegetables and like that, it seems like, oh, what a challenge, right? Yeah, right, I'm going to grow my garden. and But it's very easy once you know. It's like, oh, it, all this time I worked my my life, you know, serving rascals for carrots and potatoes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so pathetic. But you just put them in the ground and they grow. Oh, it takes some knowledge, but it really, I mean, compared to to material consciousness and serving rascal companies i mean it's just it's pathetic oh well what then was the other question the other question is 
Yeah, I, as I advance, I can clearly see my own faults and, and very clearly see others' faults. And all these anarthas, it's like they shine, you know? They shine in darkness or something like that. It's just very noticeable. So the process of initiation is about the disciple surrendering to the guru and the guru accepting a disciple in like a mutual compromise that I will serve you and I will deliver you. But uh, from the point of view of the guru, well, the disciple is like so polluted, contaminated and like that. So what's the actual standard in which you say, I will initiate this person or I will not? Because everyone's so yeah, like, polluted. Right. So that, that's why we just make like a nominal standard. Well, 